Hey folks, I'm RJ Byrne, and today we're putting out a trial with ProLine on peanuts, and today I have with me Keith Rucker from Bayer Crop Science. And Keith, let's talk a little bit about this ProLine trial. What are some of the goals? What are we hoping to see with ProLine this year? Sure. Well, last year, uh, Dr. Tim Brenneman with the University of Georgia did a couple of research trials looking at ProLine both in furrow and this early emergence spray, which is what we did today. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was actually looking at it for uh, leaf spot control and, and CBR control. And to our surprise, uh, the field that he did it in, or both locations he did it in, had extremely heavy uh, white mold pressure. And when we harvested the peanuts at the end of the year, uh, again, to everybody's surprise, we saw a significant reduction in white mold where this pro line had gone out both in furrow and early emergence and with a slightly better control going out early emergence. So this year we're putting a big focus and trying to get more uh, demo trials put out across the state on grower fields looking at ProLine both uh, in furrow but really concentrating on that early emergence application uh, to see what it'll do for, for white mold and leaf spot. Alright, so we're doing uh, early emergence application here. Let's talk a little bit about our setup. Okay. So we're doing a banded setup, right? Right. What we want to do is we want to actually band this right over the row. We want to go in here with a, a pretty good water volume. We're actually doing like a 20 gallon per acre broadcast. Okay. But when you concentrate that in on a band, you're actually putting, depending on the width of your band, 40 to 60 gallons in the band, which is very important, we think, because what we want to do is we want to get that pro line not only on the, the peanut foliage, but get it washed down into the soil because this product can be taken up through the root system as well as it can uh, through foliage uptake. So it is systemic in the plant. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, you know, fighting that underground white mold, which seems to be becoming a bigger and bigger problem for us. And uh, with the high temperatures that we've seen so far this year, we feel like we have the perfect conditions for it again. Having that pro line in the soil, we feel like is going to do a very good job of, of helping to control that early season white mold which just delays it from getting started uh, and kind of gets you up to your fungicide applications later in the season to kind of carry on through the rest of the year. Okay, so we got a replicated trial here. We're going to compare the treated versus untreated. Um, and we'll see at the end of the season when we get the actual yield data. Um, and we'll also do some leaf spot right. ratings. We'll do some white mold ratings right. for our soil dis uh, borne diseases. And then we'll also take a yield and we'll see um, the benefit we get out of using ProLine in a banded application. Great. All right. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. All right.